Hello and welcome everyone into another Amplitude Studio stream. My name is Jordan and uh, and I'm joined with Stephanie today. Hey, yeah, it's, it's been a while since we've been on stream except for that brief, uh, what, not really, trivia, trivia thing. Yeah, <laughs> we did prompt trivia, um, but... I mean, there were some very good, good answers from chat. I thought it was lovely. I thought it was really, really good. No, it, 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 um, it was great. It was just, you know, in our schedule, it still said like, endless trivia. No, no, not really, <laughs> really trivia questions, were they? <laughs> Hold up, I think we're probably getting some audio craziness here. Oh no. Video capture device, because we're using a new one. Hold up. Bonjour um, Namuria, and yeah, I guess chat, let us know if there was audio craziness. Yeah, I think, I think there was. Do, do we echo? Um, it shouldn't be an issue. I'm I'm curious. Uh, sh shouldn't shouldn't <laughs> be shouldn't be a famous last words when it comes to PCs. You know, a couple minutes before the stream uh, started, the camera stopped working, and so I had to quickly try and figure out what to do. Restarted the stream, or restarted the computer, excuse me, and that didn't fix it. So, um, had to try a couple more things. But um, we're gonna get into some humankind here. There's no scenario. Uh, which we'll have to open up again. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll have to restart it because we rebooted the PC, yes. Um, but uh, but yeah, I hope everybody's been having a good week. And uh, and yeah, I, and, I feel like we should talk guess, about... Uh, yeah, I was about to say, you know, it would be interesting to hear from chat if they've checked out the scenario. And oh no, oh my god, no! <laughs> you don't like playing humankind in <laughs> vertical mode? <laughs> I was like, hey, why did chat disappear? Oh no. Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> there we go. Ah, there we go. Now it's on the. I can fix everything given enough time. But yeah, I was about to say, you know, it would be nice to hear if, if people in chat have tried out mm, the scenario because. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. Uh, Continue, continue. Because, you know, obviously. I'm going to just fix some it things. It is a, an interesting type of earth map we have in that scenario. And also. There's a bunch of special rules for Antarctica itself that I haven't even experienced yet because of how different the Earth map is. I haven't actually ever managed to get to Antarctica so far. And it's suitably hard to get to from, from the one time I tried. And well, yeah, the, I, I think, you know, I've shown you some, some of the screenshots of the, uh, of the map. Where it's like, you know, hey, what is this? And everyone's like, uh, Greece? And it's like, no, it's the entirety of Europe. <laughs> it's, like, it's a bit crazy. Yeah. Um, hmm. Why? I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm getting that impression that the OBS is doing what it wants. Ah, wonderful. Hmm. Okay. I am just going to mess around with some stuff really quick here. So yes. until we but go to I the I guess next in, the, in the meantime, I can tell chat with the people who haven't tried the scenario yet what the scenario is about. It's, it's called Terra Incognita, and it's all about uh, discovering and, to use the vertex term, exploiting Antarctica. Exploiting Antarctica, though, you know, might you know, might need to be careful with that because one of the special rules is that you know your cities have limited growth in Antarctica and they produce more pollution, and pollution as an end condition is turned on, so you know might end the game before you're ready to if you exploit Antarctica too much. And the map is also it's a real world Earth map, but it's probably not going to look like you expect because it's nothing at all like the the maps you know you you tend to see in high school because they I think the high school map are always like Mercado projection or something like that mm -hmm, yeah well usually it's too stretched out and Greenland is too big yeah and... that's that's the Mercado projection okay, because the, the, the whole point of that projection is that um, it's uh, I don't know what the, the correct phrase in English is I only know it in German but it preserves the angles mm. so that you know for ships you can just slam the ruler on there or, or the straight edge and Draw the line, and then you know. Oh, if I always have this angle on my compass, then I'm gonna get where I'm going. Right. Whereas on other right, maps, right. you can't do that. 
because the angle to the North Pole changes uh, depending on how far up you are or how far mm. right and left you are depending on the map. And that, that one, you know, it's, it's really useful. But yeah, it kind of exaggerates how big Greenland and Siberia and Canada are. And like on the other hand, of course, uh, I guess Australia also can look a bit bigger on it. Yeah. Anything, you know, the further away from the equator, equator you yeah. are, the bigger it looks. Cool. All right, I think I fixed it. Uh, <laughs> if we go over here, it should work. It should. I, I'm just, I'm just so confused why when I... Okay. We, we have camera now, we have game. We, we have, have camera, we have game, Do and we have sound. <laughs> we should have game sound as well. Okay, good. I... I hate technology sometimes. I'm going to slightly adjust the camera, but you get started on this. Yes, scenario. let's let's see. And yeah, um, I guess I can take a moment to say, yes, we also, you know, did some rearranging here on the on the main menu. And so you can see that the login to amplifiers button down here is now, you know, easily accessible. Small caveat, there's a bug right now where for some people it keeps logging you out and you have to log in again every time. Uh, we're working on that. Fix is incoming, but right now, you know, Double check that you're logged in. And then we have in the events menu, we have the challenges. And here you can see it clearly logged us out or we would be able to click on the challenge button. Good, good. So we're affected by the bug. But luckily we don't care about the challenges. We care about the scenarios. And you can, you know, replay the old one or here the terra incognita and you can pick the cultures. And I think we checked earlier on the we did Twitter a Twitter. Poll. I did a Twitter poll with um, four of the options. Yes, like, because uh, we said oh, minus you know, the Dutch and Jersey. The, the Dutch are the default option. A lot of people will have played that, so we took that off because you know we were limited to four options. And uh, Josian, uh, Kiri, and um, Chapel. Well, Chapel. Well, technically, I think his name he goes by Father Loris because Chapel oh. is his website, but most people call him Chapel. And so, Chapel Comics, yes. aka Father, Father Loris, Loris, aka Ryan, and. They, they played the Joseon, <laughs> so, and, and got very confused as to where they were, which, understandable. Fair enough. But uh, in the poll, the Ottomans won, which means I have at least a vague idea which direction to go. <laughs> <laughs> because with the, with the, um, Ponosoni and the Spanish and the Ming, I would have had less idea. With the Ming, probably I would have had the best idea because I have seen, you know, the Joseon gameplay and the Ming aren't far away from the Joseon. Okay. Because, you know, historically they were neighbors and were diplomatically allied and, and etc. Um, with the Spanish, I know they don't start in Europe. They start somewhere in Central America or... in, in the Americas, but I don't remember if it's like Central America or South America. Be sleeping on okay. trees. The, the nice part about the, the Spanish, of course, would have been we could have done... No, wait. No, we couldn't have done Central Americas. Because it's not in the in the... Base game and the DLCs mm. are disabled on the scenario, but right. we could have gone Mexicans. And yes, um, oh no, <laughs> is this okay? Let's see. What's we do up, have, Oscar? We have the, the event. The you know, we get an event at the start. Points unknown. There's like, hey, you know, oh, there's this rumor about the Terra Australis, and you know, we should go explore for it. And it's is it, a is it text? Us. A custom text? It's custom text. That, that's a unique event just for the scenario. We should have read it. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. But, you know, we only have two hours. <laughs> we only have to, two hours, okay. To, to find uh, Australia. You know I uh, love reading to, text. Yes, I, I, I I'm I'm a big text reader. But yeah. Oh, no. Mm. Are we landlocked? Or is that going to be ocean? I need to make a note of that to let the designers uh, know about that. I think it spawned our, our Reinforcement ship, uh, ship. Our boat in the Black Sea. But the Black Sea, the Bosporus, doesn't exist on this map. Mm. So we can't get it out of the Black Sea. Because you can see this it's seems gonna be to be a already very well land. protected Black Sea though. <laughs> but this no, this can't be the Black Sea. It's too small to be the Black Sea. It should be bigger. So wh where the hell is that? Is that the Jordan River? I don't I don't know what I'm talking about. No, but no, I'm, I'm, what is I'm, geography? No, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> I'm, for me like the Ottomans should be in Turkey, but did they maybe Place the Ottomans further down, and this is like Arabia. You so, know, so, there's so only that, one way to find out. So, Stephanie. so, so, because you know, maybe they were like, ah, oh, but if we put them in Turkey, they're too close to the Dutch because Amsterdam is all of Europe. True. That's a that's a real quote. That was a short expedition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
They no, got no. on the boat and they yeah, no, I, I, I the think, river. I think this might be the Black Sea because, you know... There's somebody. This, this looks like the... What the Nile would look like on this map. With the curve. And then you have, like, Sinai here. The little triangle. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, what... Right here on the, I think now I need to build a scout so we can claim some territory before I build anything else. So our objective here is, is to, to find, find the Terra Incognita. And then, you know, exploit it. Because, exploit the because resources. all of the, the cool stuff, like, I think Sol Peter already is already in Antarctica. So, like, Technically, they, we can this, disband the boat, though, because yes, we, it's in our territory. Actually. Right? Actually, that does need to be in our territory. Did we that's patch one of, that that's in the one Shackleton of, update? Yes, indeed. ladies and gentlemen, in the Shackleton up, sh sh shack em, shack em up <laughs> update. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> yes, it definitely. Was, it's. Uh, I, I, I was as as you were stumbling over that that word. I I was expecting you to to go for the the shack the Shaquille O'Neal type uh, of joke. Shaquille O'Neal them update. <laughs> uh, Sean Zamparelli think. Oh, Sean Zamparelli. Hold up, uh, Zamparelli. Uh, wait, that's wait, a. This, this, this seems to That's be... That's a name. Okay, it, it just displayed this like it was ground because we had Zamperini. Zamperini was the n last name of the guy who was in a prisoner of war in the book Un... Undominable? No, wait. Un... Untouchable? What is it? Oh, what? He was a pilot, I thought, that he crash-landed and then he was in... He was a prisoner of war. Zamperini, but that just reminded me. So, sorry, Sean, welcome in, and thank you very much for the follow. Officially welcome into the community. You know, I'm just realizing there's one thing we need to address. Hi, El Fakir. Ah, uh, <laughs> we are we are much muchly unmoneyed. Yes. <laughs> so I think we need to we need to make money in the desert. Yeah, very very. I mean, good I mean this is this is really good. Like this is a desert tale, but six money from it. Oh yes, I'll take that. Just arrived. We're discussing about. Ayalet Isam? Bil Bilad Isam? Well, we were discussing on where our designers placed it for gameplay purposes. Yeah. We weren't sure if it's actually in Turkey or if they slightly like, moved it. Is that the Black Sea? Or is that the Mediterranean Ocean? Uh -huh. uh, it's very yeah. much at the top. Okay, yes. I think I think this looks like it's right here. Oh, but I don't know what the top is, though, because of the map orientation. Yeah, no, but, but the <laughs> thing is, you know... I think. Right, right. I'm I think imagining if, if, now. if this one is the Nile, that I'm suspecting it's the Nile. Right, right, right. Because that's but I'm Africa not sure. down there. And then this would be Africa. This is Sinai, and, and that then would make Saudi this Arabia. Arabia. And then okay, it put us in the um, the Red Sea. Is it the Red Sea? No, that's the Gulf of Gulf of Syria. Is it called that? <laughs> You're just musing at this point because I'm like, I know, I'm, I can't help you with this be, because I'm, I'm I'm a lot of these places. I'm like, oh wait. What's the English word for it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I mean, sheesh. I don't know. Um, Damascus. It should be Damascus. Damascus. Like the steel. Yes. That, that, that's where that name for the steel comes from. <laughs> you see, I don't know many things, but I do know some things. And some of those things have to deal with knives. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, How, impor it's important that you know that you don't know many things. Because yeah. that, that's the way you're willing to learn. I... Absorb so much information. Um, also, chat, is the game sound loud enough? I feel like it's a little bit quiet. I'm Ooh, I was trying to get the levels perfect. Um, but now that we're actually in gameplay, I feel like it's quieter than the audio that I used to test it. The capital of modern Syria. Oh, really? Look at that. So do we take the... I know that. Yeah, I think we take the... the 20, 20 is here. quite good. Because th this one is also not bad, but I think this is better. Is there any news on the console release? Uh, Zoma Zone, um, yeah, so we, oh, I, I should I should have a link to the highlight because people are going to be asking us that. There's yes. a highlight on our Twitch channel. Um, if you go into Amplitude Studios, videos, uh, I, think it, I think there's a section for highlights or you'll just have to search clips and then highlights because they might go in the same section. Um, Roman Wolbert, our CEO, had a great, like, two minutes of just, like, talking about the console version. And that is the most recent, most official news that we have on that. 
I would refer you to that. Hmm. This is one of those. I think the the normal map generator never generates like this much desert, or, or very rarely. You need like massive yeah. continents with with dry climate. This so this is, is the. Uh, but, but I would definitely like the salt and the copper. We're but in yeah, Africa now. Yeah, I think you know now that I've I've heard more. I think this, this is Sahara? this is absolutely the Nile with that fork here and this here. So it's weird yeah. seeing Africa on its side. I mean, so far we can't even see that it, properly that it's Africa, but I'm pretty sure this is the Nile because obviously you know the the starting locations are all where they roughly where they should be. So we know that you know as to Ottomans we can't be too far away from like Turkey, Egypt, etc. Because that's all. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, at, at the height of their power, they kind of control, I, suspecting that this is the Mediterranean, kind of control all of the area around here. I've seen maps. Yeah, the, <laughs> the question is if you remember them. The, um, uh, the Ottoman <laughs> Empire, where it covered, the Roman Empire, where it covered, like, comparisons of yes. how much area. I've seen things like that. There's, like, YouTube videos from, like, extra credits that I've watched about that. I've seen I've seen I'm, history I'm, videos. I'm so I'm so I'm so behind on all the extra credit stuff. I really want to catch up on that, but I need to make the time. Like the last time There's I had time content. to watch the, the last time I had time to watch them was like five years ago or something. Like, That's oh. a long time ago. Yes. Maybe you could watch them while painting your miniatures. I like, I, you, I listen I, I, I listen to to a lot of podcasts and stuff like oh, that, okay. but with the extra credits because you it's know the, the the art style, the visuals are very much part of the experience. I don't That's want to. Because you know, I get that. If, if you don't watch it, you don't get. I don't know if you saw the one about the Crusades. I when don't know. If there, I have. there was one of the the lords. They always like, you know, was doing the negotiating, and then you know they concluded the the negotiation with Wiku, and so they drew that Crusader lord with like sunglasses and like, <laughs> Wiku. <laughs> it's like yeah, no, it's definitely and, part and of the experience. So yeah, that that's like one of the things um, I don't want to just like. I'm gonna try and find this video. Oh, actually, yes, this this phone. should be Vesuvius. So yes, this, I'll see if I can this, do it on my phone. This is like half of Italy right here. <laughs> These no, three islands on this map. Dun, 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 dun. We have, as far as I can understand, the map is oriented such that you're looking towards east at Maghreb. Is that? Yes, yeah. this this direction I think is east eastish. It might might be southeast. East but but like down here in, in northern Africa, it will be east. Yeah, I do want to claim this territory for the copper and the salt, but I'm not sure where to put it. Should I place it on the river? No, with the river is close enough that we can get there. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to I guess I'll place it over channel. here so so we're close to the copper. Maybe place it right on the oasis and then have like some mega squatters to get the mountains. Highlights. Okay. okay. Yeah, see, see here, here you can see how how turned around the map gets. I think this bit here is the Caspian Sea. I did it. I need to create a command. Ah. There you go, Somazone. You, you know. <laughs> hot, hot code. Hot code, exactly. <laughs> you know. If I have the power to do it, I will, you know? I think with these guys, I'll swing back and, and grab this. But yeah, as I was it's just saying, here, this one here, Yeah. I think that's the Caspian Sea. But this is the northern coast of the Caspian Sea. Mm. Uh, okay. Hmm. I mean, it's all right. When you're dealing with hexagons, you can only do so much. I mean, like the shape is fine, but it's like 120 degrees or so. Turn. You know, if you look at it to this side, it kind of looks like ah, the, finally. the little drawing the of Simba that they make <laughs> on the wall, the like wall painting. But, you know, if we established, if we believe this is Africa, then obviously we're, we're metagaming now. Uh -huh. And saying this is south, so we should be sailing in this direction. I believe so. Yeah, yeah. This seems. I'm glad that we could get out. I will say. 
The nice thing is, is that I've set it up so that we they can't hear anything out there that's happening. I'm watching our audio levels and it's not peaking. Y'all can't hear like people talking outside of the room, right? Meanwhile, Chad to say like nobody tell them that we can hear them talking about secret projects. <laughs> They're listening to the web team talk about. What the, the web team is usually the one of the amplifiers. Most, you know the the web team is usually one of the most informed teams about all of the projects that's fair, because though. they need to prepare for them. Yeah, that's a good point. Sometimes they know about stuff that even we don't know. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I find out about stuff by them asking, hey, can we get the asset for that? Or can we get the thing? And I'm like, oh, we have a thing? I didn't know. It's so interesting trying to figure out what each part of the map represents. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a mini game. Jordan, the lighting isn't helping. The shirt of yours is gray, purple, or other color. Um, it is a periwinkle blue. If if you want to Google periwinkle blue, I'm <laughs> sure it will come up. I know that's probably not a blue that you've Googled before, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say blue. I don't know how many Google uh, searches you've made on the color blue, but... Well, well, you'd be surprised how often I Google specific colors. Mm, yeah? Because, I, because it's like, you know, uh, what exactly is this color actually like for, for like, you know... Hmm. When when I'm you know thinking about like paint schemes and it's yeah, like you know yeah, yeah. and then you know oh you know the the usually this color is used for that symbology and it's like oh. okay what does that color actually look like right okay 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 yeah yeah I was thinking about colors that you know the name of but you don't know what color yeah but it but is. The, that's exactly the kind of thing like you know oh, I'm, I'm you thinking about like about uh, I'm thinking about like oh you know hmm I want to have this kind of symbolism in the paint scheme and then it's like okay it says this color. What does that actually, what's the exact tone of yeah. that color? Yeah, there's so many colors that are like The worst that. one is purple, because nobody can agree what purple actually means. <laughs> but some people, it's like yeah. exactly the middle between blue and red. Or like indigo and violet, like uh, it's somewhere in, in there. Yeah, and yeah, for others it's like more bluish, for others it's more reddish. The whitest like, you can have. It's, it's not going to look good. I, I mean, let me make a terrible joke. The, the whitest... We can have, so should we go get get a uh, baguette? Yeah, honestly <laughs> though. No, hold up, I went past the whitest we have. Wait, no. Where is white on the hue chart? I don't think we have it. We need to go to a different mode. White is extra hard, okay, Dr. I, I think that's, you need to, to change the saturation. No, we need to go to a different mode, I believe. Um, yeah, because now this is white. Yeah, because, but I think if you had taken the saturation to zero, it would have also been white. Because you took out the color. Maybe. Out of the color. Maybe. Uh, yeah. We're white. Da ba dee da ba <laughs> that's, uh, that's as white as it comes. You should see my ink catalog notebook to see how many different colors there can be. Oh, uh, gosh. I mean, we, we talked about the, the whole Pantone thing before, right? Where yeah, it's like an entire yeah, yeah, yeah. book of like, oh, this shade of green is very slightly different than that shade of green. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, my uh, I have a friend that uh, she, she does watercolor and she invents new colors that she really likes by mixing other colors. And then, to, you know, she runs out of that specific like pigment Mixed. or whatever. Uh. And... You know, to make the, the mix or something. And then she's like, I can never paint in that color again because, like, you know, sometimes they discontinue these, like, the, the, batches yeah, or the, this, whatever. This, this is exactly why for um for one of my, my armies that I want to paint, I've been struggling to find the paint scheme because I know exactly what I want it to look like, but I haven't found anybody who manufactures that shade of color. And I'm like, I need to paint, like, 40 of these guys yeah, all over. All over the entire model because it's like the base, it's like a base paint. Base coat. paint. Yeah. I don't want to have to mix that every time. Yeah, that's rough. It's already Thursday. <laughs> yeah, I know. It seems crazy, but it's true. Yeah, it, it's a very oh, what a week, Captain. It's Wednesday, kind of kind of time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm just I'm just happy that the audio issue that we were having before where it was like it sounded like it was ducking our own wow. selves um is fixed and i don't know necessarily what was causing it still i just know that i fixed it <laughs> which is useful but also still annoying because i don't know how to prevent it in the future 
You but anyways, welcome in, Axel. You know, I'm, I'm think I'm gonna try head for the coast, claim a territory so that we can maybe upgrade the boat. Because we have unlocked the better boats. Ah, uh, no, we need... There oh, was... no! We need to show Peter that only exists in Antarctica to get better boats that would make it easier to get to Antarctica. Curse you, intentional game design! <laughs> By the way, since you were moving the, the uh, unit on the very bottom of the screen, it was like perfectly behind our heads <laughs> the whole time you were moving it as you're panning the screen. Nope. Okay. It's stealth unit. It's stealth unit. Yeah, if you can't see it, they can't see it. <laughs> but yeah, we can see it. This is Amsterdam. All the way from, I think this is like Spain. Mm, that's Spain? Yep. Oh, okay, I, I can see it. I can see it. Because, you know, this is Morocco with the mountain range there. Yeah, no. And, you know, this is like... That's Tuscany? Uh, well, no, 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 Tuscany is like... <laughs> Tuscany? Yeah, basically. I, oh, Sicily, sorry. Sicily's an island. Yeah, I think this is either... It's Sicily or it's... Uh, what are the other two called? The, the Corsica? Corsica and Sardinia? Is it those? You know, the, the two ones next to Italy. Yes. But this this, <laughs> this is probably Sic uh, Sicily and then, like, somewhere in the fog of war here. Because, like, you can see Italy is so small that it, like, ends at Naples. Yeah. <laughs> But also, it had to have room for the three tile big natural wonder. You yes. Know? Yeah, uh, maybe we got a first time kind of chatter. Oh, it's down. Sean. I'm going to be honest. I may be having that audio issue. I don't know if it's me or y'all, but your mic audio keeps going in and out for me. Hmm. Um, Ducking is still with us. You're joking. Oh, man. no. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I'm just going to be very cheeky here and, you know, forward settle the Dutch. Did that fix it? Oh, my gosh. Well, I fixed it yesterday. It must have come back. Unless I just fixed it again. In which case, I'm not exactly sure. Should we just claim this region with the iron? Just so that the Dutch can't have it? I mean, that seems petty. I like it. <laughs> It seems pretty. Like, no, no, yeah, no, that's no, a good no. answer. Um, Zomp, uh, uh, Sean, it's uh, it has to do, it has to do with this new mixer that we have, and there's some, I don't know what it's doing going on where it uh, it's has voice detection, and I can't figure out how to turn on or off the voice detection. Um, I don't even have the manual for this freaking thing, and I don't know where the manual is. I could probably dig around the cupboards until I find it, but it's it's always... Karaoke mixer? No, this is actually a really, like, fancy mixer, but um, but without, you know, a manual or proper instruction, um, it's it <laughs> should be a karaoke, you know, it could be a karaoke mixer, because I'm not exactly sure. It's not going out for me, but I'm on mobile right now. Okay, thank you to Grim. Um, the manual was in Japanese. They checked it. No, this is uh, it's actually made by an Australian company, so well, it that, should be fine. Well, that doesn't stop the manual <laughs> from being in Japanese. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Uh, this might be useful. You know, Very a bit of money. Seems fixed, says Bachoffel. You can usually find the manuals online on the manufacturer's site. I mean, there that would be too too reasonable to <laughs> expect me to think of that. Reasonable? <laughs> I got I got other things to worry about in my job other than messing around with this mixer. And I thought very, that I had fixed true. the problem, so yes. I wasn't you know thinking that I needed yeah, to. You, 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 you saw, thought you had applied the the mixer fixer, but the mixer fixer. I yeah exactly and. You know, if it's working, I tend to just stop worrying about it because, you know, like, you know, I, I could read the whole manual probably, and it might be a good idea, but I'm going to avoid that as long as possible. You know, that seems we should we should have the <laughs> reduced cost of creating outposts because we're claiming a lot of outposts. I mean, yeah, we want to expand for sure. I mean, mostly I want to grab the stuff before the Dutch do. <laughs> Only nerds read manuals. <laughs> yeah, got him. <laughs> got him, Bokoffel. You have to search for the Australian manual across the ocean on terra incognita. 
That's what we're going to find there. We're going to find the manual. <laughs> we're going to find the manual, yeah. As I'm... I, Bokov will... Wait, who said this? That seems fixed. Yeah. So if it if it's happening again, please do let us know. Don't... I mean, if there was like five of you that were like, yeah, it is happening for me too. Like, don't just like sit there and don't say anything. You got to <laughs> yeah, let us exactly. know. You got to let us know. Exactly. We can't hear what you're hearing. We're just speaking to a little metal microphone and, you know... I don't know what it sounds like for the most part unless I go to another room and open up the stream on my phone. The, the thing is, you know, I might just I, I, I might to, do that. <laughs> I want to grab all of the, the territory for the resources, but at the same time, it's like all of this is not good city territory. Our second city might be like somewhere down here, yeah, where there's like actual woods, or it's up here. I think Scandinavia is starting over here. See, Dark Arrow could be telling us about these things. I, he's probably busy playing the scenarios to Spanish. Reading manuals is the last resort when nothing is working. Yeah. We should be listening to ourselves all the time as punishment. I think we sound pretty good. I mean, you you, you tell us if we're wrong. Uh, yes. Okay. I think I think this this bit here might be entire the entirety of Norway, Sweden, and Finland. <laughs> I'm imagining it because I think this little bit. This is the entirety of Denmark, because this is Amsterdam. Right. Yeah, th this map, you know, it's not what you expect. <laughs> Nobody expected the Antarctic-centered uh, equi-rectangular uh, projection. <laughs> See, we do sound pretty good. You know, if both of us could get as close to the microphone as possible, we'd sound really good, and we could just whisper in it. Yeah, but you know, that, that looks a, hey. it's a bit, bit difficult hey. to... <laughs> we'll just screen. adjust the, the height of the microphone. We'll just be like, hey. I want to go over here. And, 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 and then, and then, then when I want to talk, then you get, get I'll move it over here. ASMR. And then you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> we can both talk. Oh, gosh. Mm. Do I grab the one with the, all the food? The one or with all the industry? Balance. Or do I grab the one with the iron? Mm. Before the... I think no strategic. iron for you, Dutch. <laughs> I think the strategics are more worth it. Have we started losing yet? What? <laughs> Excuse hey, me. Hey, when I play humankind, I start losing on the first turn. Yeah, we we're never gonna lose. Hmm. Uh, I think our district does our district count as for riches? Um. Yes. Okay. I think I do want to grab that one. See, this was an intentional decision. I suppose there are some things. This was all planned out. <laughs> I think, you know, our influence is not looking great. Uh, which seems odd, since we're the Ottomans. But we, yeah, we, I think we we're haven't also, built our districts yet. I think we're also uh, very much in debt still. Yes, there's just, you know, I'm, I need to find more resources so we can get more money. And in the meantime, try to get... Whatever I can that gives us money, but as you can see, they're not. It's great. not great. Yeah. Oh wait, can we? Mm. Harbors would be nice to get food and money. Oh, oh, now I see. <laughs> this is the coastline where he where it puts it. Ah, <laughs> down here. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess at least from here we could then build a market quarter next to this to get some extra money and market quarter up here. So let's do that. And also, you know, then we have an actual Mediterranean port as mm. opposed to only over here in the in the Gulf. Is it like is that Crimea? Somebody was saying it was Crimea, maybe. No, I I think this is the entirety of the Black Sea. So this one tile is Crimea. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is not the kind of projection you expect. Yeah, I, I have to turn my head to understand this map. <laughs> oh, trust me, you will be do, doing a lot of head turning because the direction where north is isn't the same everywhere on the map. Yeah, it changes. Yeah, I, I get it. It just takes a second to think about it. But yeah, as you can see, this is like, oh, Norway, Sweden, <laughs> Finland. This is like the Baltics, I guess. There's a bit of an audio unevenness now. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just go listen to the stream and go to the bathroom at the same time. Yeah, well, then let me see if I'll I can back. keep up with chat and the game at the same time. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do a great job. 
you've just placed the port of Antalya. Yeah, I guess I guess that fits roughly. But as you can roughly make out, the um, Bosporus doesn't exist here. Like we can't go by boat from the Black Sea into the Mediterranean, which had me worried at the start because I thought they had placed the Ottomans in Turkey and not in in the Levant. Yes, we do. No strategics for you. Ah, oh, those poor Dutch. They will never get to expand. And I guess if they do, we just seal it because, yes, <laughs> we can do that, I guess. Ah, yes, here I saw. Right, we should be worrying about those because it's all about the fame. Well, I guess we are the... Wait, who's... Oh, no. Who's... Who's... Orange going to be... Is that the Ming? Or is that somebody on the, in the in the um, Americas? Uh, none of this is good, but I do kind of want the, the Danakil Desert for the money on salt, because that'll help us, because we do have some salt. And I think we have more salt in here? No, that's insane. Hmm. 14, 15... I guess the 714 is probably the best we can get here. Oh, well, let's... Let's just grab this. It's gonna be fine. And then we just slap a port down here somewhere. Once that's finished. Alright, you... Hmm. Probably somewhere around here is the best we can. Oh. Did we find the cape yet? Yes, I, I think we fi found the, uh, wait, which, which one's the Cape at the tip of Africa? That's the Cape of Good Hope? Uh, or is that the one in South America? I always get the two mixed up. Well, one on Africa is the one that's, like, really difficult to sail around. I, I don't think the one on South America is either, either with all of those, you know, Kylie Islands and craggy coasts. Mm. But, I've, but I've, I know they, they have, I've like, a lot of storms there, but... But I think I think this one's good hope and the other's Cape Horn, but I don't know. I always get the mix up. Yeah, well, DeGrim, here's the here's the thing though. We've we've used this microphone successfully for two people sitting next before. to each other before. This is this, this has everything this has, to do with the new this mixer's has, yeah, software. Exactly. This has only started after the new mixer. Granted, that, the uh, other mixer that we had was I think purely just hardware. I don't think there was any software layered yes. on top of it. And so this is adding like filters and craziness onto the microphone which i don't know what it's doing like i don't have a readout of like oh it's applying a compressor and this and that like i could i mean the thing is you know the hardware could have applied a compressor and, and such as well that we didn't know about right but at least it was providing you know a static output as yes. opposed to choosing to dampen and do stuff by itself Yeah, I think on the second city well, might actually be in Northern Europe here. Ooh, wait, the river just came past this Thank you, Double Dubs, by the way, for the follow and officially welcome into the stream. I think as well, um, when I yesterday when I was streaming, I didn't notice any like error or any like ducking or anything like that because I was the only one and I was speaking into the mic the whole time. But I uh, think yep. like when we're talking away from the microphone, it's like it's you know it's it's significantly less yeah loud. Beca because of, of course you know it, it's gonna be hard to to yeah. move to be and I mean like this and I mean I I think we can know, move. even if you moved it over here then you would be shouting I mean but at least I would be we'd be talking both in the same direction yeah and and interestingly enough since it's a dynamic or no, it's a, not a dynamic it's a you know it's not a uh, condenser mic you know it's not necessarily directional um it ha has to be happening in the software yeah probably there has to be something going on software related because um you know let me grab the eye it shouldn't course. it shouldn't be going down that much just by turning away my head um 
Yeah, I don't think I don't think this mic has like a directional like pickup. I don't think it does. No, I, don't. I well, think it's just. I mean, I, I'm not an expert an on, on on microphone, so I wouldn't know. But there's no like logo on one side. It's not. It's not a directional mic. Wait, how do they have a camera? In here? Right. It has. It has. Um. You know, it's this end of the microphone, but. What you're noticing is is the um, you know like the proximity effect when I'm getting that close to the microphone. There's there's something happening software wise because this microphone never had issues before. So somehow the Dutch have a cat. Hmm. I'm not sure where they got it because I don't think we have one. No, this is just a cog. So they must have gotten gunpowder somewhere. All right, you can't see it. Uh, well, I, I guess, you know, we've successfully... Oh, wait. Can you just take that? No. Yeah, they want Bellatrix. No! We want to trade and not territories. <laughs> uh, actually, I think I'm kind of stuck along the river here. Yeah, it's possible that I could uh, that I could manage to turn off all of the software on the thing. I mean, granted, I can't turn off how it interprets the audio data and how it pumps it out because that's just unique to every piece of hardware. But potentially, I could turn off every single like filter that it's applying. Yeah, let, let's let's build a bridge between Sweden and Denmark, I guess. <laughs> 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 because then when we attach this it'll capture the whole thing and the real question is is the audio effect thing bad enough that it's annoying people because if it is then it could be worth the trying me to trying to figure out figure it out right now How do we actually get across to Antarctica? That one's going to be tricky. Uh, no, I don't think we're moving on yet. We need more error cells for more things. Yeah, like this is about as far as I had explored before when playing the Dutch. So I have no idea how to get from here to Antarctica. And it's going to be tricky. Yeah, but golf was also saying like weird compressor settings. Question mark. Oh, damn it! Stop demanding our land. I'm not exactly sure, but I, I think I may have turned off all of the. Yeah, I I know, I know what it sounds like. I've I've listened to it. I just don't know why it's doing it. Can you give me like two seconds to click on some stuff in OBS? Yes, sure. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see if there oh sorry. Uh alt tab. Just gonna see if there's a way I can do a little uh stuff here. Um <laughs> should be fine. Try that. Okay, this thing's so far better with low speech, and and I guess when they say low speech, they well, mean when we're not quite as loud. A compressor would help low speech, though, is the thing. So it doesn't make sense that the like the compressor would be making it worse because a compressor is supposed to make loud speech softer so that you don't peak, and it's supposed to make low speech louder so that it's 
uh, in a shorter range of audio. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. It, it, you can hear me muttering now. It makes it more uh, uh, well, not compact, but you know, uh, it, it reduces the variance, I guess. So apparently, what I've learned here is that the built-in filter in OBS to do compression is just better than the mixer at this point. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I mean, yeah. Oh my god, we're, we're almost in positive monies Woo! again. Let's go, baby. Seems fine, even when Stephanie turned away to talk to you, she was clear. That's what I'm saying. So there's something about what's going on over there. I don't know. I'm totally fine to just ne never use the filters on that. <laughs> Because it's been fine in the past. I do think that there are some probably really cool features that you could use. But if it's going to be doing funky, funky chicken stuff. Talk to the side. Hi, my name is Jordan, and I'm talking into the room. How was that? Mm. Ooh, it's so clean here. Yes, that, that looks good. GG's. Hmm. All right. Big big L for the mixer, big W for the stream. <laughs> uh, no. Cursed fog bank. Oh, is there guaranteed fog banks? Uh, yes, this is like a fixed terrain feature in humankind, not mm. like in the EL where they move. But it's like, I'm pretty sure the designers have like, Let's put fog banks all around so that you need to sail into the unknown. Oh my gosh, so our ships are going to sink potentially until we potentially. find it. Well, that's that's why I was like trying to get them to agree to create strategics because how the hell do they have a Karak, a, a Karak when they don't have gunpowder? I don't know, it's a good question. All right, if if the audio continues to be better like this then let me know. <laughs> Let me know if it's still still working better. But also, I just realized I normally... um, hmm, we, we may need to prioritize this, maybe. Mm. Uh, you, you know, I'm Stability. Actually, I'm actually thinking, since this is like a holy site, let's just make it thematic and put that like where some holy cities would be here or maybe get it down here where Mecca would be. Because this... This is probably roughly where Jerusalem would be on this map. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right there, pretty much. Yeah, the default the default stuff is all pretty good. It sounds fine to me. There's a slight dip, but it's not an audible. A threshold setting, perhaps. Um, th well, the only thing that should be affecting the audio right now, assuming that I've turned off all the the filter successfully is a noise suppression filter and a compressor filter. Those are the only two filters that should be going on our audio right now. Ooh, 14, yes, please. 10 pops, uh, yeah, not gonna sacrifice. Oh, oh my god, we're, we're actually losing a lot of pop here. But nice. Can we maybe crank up one, one unit temporarily? If they're eating gold, they're not eating food. Because I think it, nah, it, it, after we lose that one pop, we're probably fine again. So let's let's see about that. Okay. Because we we can't build it fast enough to uh, you know prevent the loss, so we might as well invest in the holy site. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, I what I normally have on the audio. What I normally have on the audio is I actually slap a compressor, an expander, a noise suppression, and an equalizer. Is normally what four things I have on my audio. But Yeah, we can move it closer to you. Talk talk into the microphone. Well, sure. It's um, still in the same direction. It's still in for the me, same so direction. So, but um I was thinking, oh yes, Postman City Cap, and then I remember, no wait, we actually have plenty of City Cap left because I haven't been making enough cities. So I guess, you know, that Civic is pretty irrelevant for us right now. Uh, well, hey, actu actually, no wait. It may seem Victoria, Stability. But at least the chain it fixes this until we can have that, and then we can cancel it again. Okay. <laughs> you know, 
the pro place. No, 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 no. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. <clears throat> I would rather have it sound, ah, sound good yes! than everyone else. Hey! So, Peter! Wait, so it isn't only on Antarctica? I, get, I, I, know, I know Era 5 and Beyond is only in Antarctica. I wasn't sure about Era 4. But that's good, because then we can actually take this boat back here, upgrade it, and then we no longer sink. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> yes, let's go indeed. Oh, and there's more over here, actually, and that's probably cheaper, because it's closer to our borders. Suggestions of what run to do in ES2. Mmm. How expensive is it? 35. Yes, next turn we can just claim this. Possibly even have enough to get this Sulpeter. Ah, but we do need to claim this one down here as well, so that we can upgrade this boat. Do you have any uh, well, wonderful su ideas? Suggestion for runs in, in uh, ES2, that depends on what kind of runs have you already done. I'm assuming Axel's played a lot of ES2 since yeah, that's, that's, that's their forte. That's that's the thing. <laughs> then, you know, it gets more and more difficult. Obviously, you know, there's always the Horatio gotta, gotta splice them all. Gotta uh, splice through. them all. Make, you know, Horatio. the biggest... Make the biggest map you can. And then just try to get as much population as you can to... To splice everything. Because on the... I think on the biggest map, you can technically have... All of the minor factions spawn, even if you have all of the major factions. 20 pops. Yeah, I think 20 pops isn't everybody, though. I have, <laughs> I have definitely seen somebody who's like, I have spliced every potential minor fact and major faction. And they posted their home system. And I was like, absolutely nuts. They were like, one million industry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oof. Splice girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That... That's the name of the Horatio, the Horatio boy, boy band. band. The Splice Girls. Where were? Where was this answer on last uh, last uh, Thursday? Yeah, it's like it's, it's <laughs> such a good answer for that one. Mm. <laughs> Peak. Peak answer. <sighs> I'm so sorry about all my yawning right now. <clears throat> You'd think I didn't get any sleep, but I actually did sleep for quite a while last night. My wife was waking up super early this morning, which maybe is why I'm yawning because she woke uh, me up early. But yeah, uh, also, also not just early. She might have woken you up, you know, in I don't remember which phase it is, but you know, there's one phase of sleep the where when sleep. when you wake up it's fine, and one phase where when you wake up you feel super tired. It's deep sleep. When you wake up during deep sleep, it's usually not good. But I mean, I should be fine by now. <laughs> should have Sh worn off. Sh should. Just like, uh, you know, the PC should have worked, and the audio should have worked. <laughs> There's a lot of shoulds today. Yeah. Mm, great day to you uh, and this live stream. I, of course, have questions on the console edition of this content. Uh, Alexander, um, the console edition is still delayed. Sadly, still delayed, yes. and we don't have a date for you, unfortunately. But, patience. REM sleep is the bad one. That, you get woken uh, up in, uh, REM, in REM? Is, REM is the dream sleep, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I, I guess that makes sense that that would be the bad one because it's like your brain is processing something and then you get ripped out of it. Maybe, I'm not sure. I, I've i heard that you feel more oh, sluggish you, when you get woken up during deep sleep. You, you know how they might have gotten the Karak? Maybe they just... Got lucky and found it in one of the oh uh, the um, curiosities on on the ocean. Maybe. Could be. Could be. So close to upgrading that boat. Ooh, so none of these places are terribly great. Oh, well, I guess we can get one that gives us a lot of food over here, so let's do that. Yummy. Let's, uh, thank you, I just got into the stream. Yeah, welcome in, Alexander. Good having you here. Oh, I, I think, you know, I think this is actually the same set. This is like half of England, <laughs> or half of the British Isles. 
I've recently seen in an opinion scientific paper that dreaming might be data augmentation. Mix and match experiences and fantasy mixes so the brain isn't just stuck on only on actual experiences but can have some flexibility. An opinion scientific paper. Hmm. As in, hey, here's a hypothesis, but we haven't done research on it yet, basically? Or here's my hypothesis based off of the research, you know. Yeah, but, but, but uh, of course, you know, most, most hypotheses, you know, start somewhere, but it's still like, you know, if it's like, oh, there's this prior research, and we have this theory now, but we need to prove it. Uh, peer-reviewed, but the evidence is not overwhelming. Mm. They're like, okay, yes, this is... This is reasonable, we should research more in this direction, but this is not proof. It supports an idea, I suppose. Good. Just be careful with coincidence. Okay, can we can we get close enough over here to slap down the outpost? We oui. I mean I'll probably move it later, but the important thing is it should now count as Yes! Yes! A boat that doesn't sink! Antarctica, here we come! So how are we get how are we gonna get people over there? By inventing even better boats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's in that case it is actually, you know, that's straightforward, I guess. <laughs> mm, is there a better spot for this one? Hmm, I guess technically yes. Minus seven food, though. Trade food for industry. Yeah, true. I, I think the balance spot might be the good one here. Because we might might turn this one into another city so that we can do like this whole area as one city. I like it. And then have like Sub-Saharan Africa as another city. And this whole region becomes one city. supposed to move up here and wait until we can build that outpost. So we've uh, only seen one other uh, empire. Yeah, because um, I mean Joseon and Ming are somewhere over here, I think. At least if, you know, if this is like Northern Europe, this is Arabia, then, you know, the continent kind of wraps around upside down over here. Mm-hmm. And I have no idea where the hell the Americas are. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Spain and the Haudenosaunee are in the Americas. Right, okay. Um, OP abstain? Or do we want more sides? I mean... I think I want the OP abstain. Do we have a lot of woodland? Well, definitely not in Northern Africa, but like... Yeah. Here... <laughs> And There's a lot of trees. And like we have the the South Congo. Africa, yeah. So yeah, I do think we want the the abstain. Alrighty. Uh, wait, actually, since we're playing the Ottomans, I guess we should be switching to to Islam. Uh, what's up, Shukruk Muradov? Uh, we're playing the community scenario. So we have scenarios every month or so. Um, for the game where the community can play through um, and compete against each other. Ah. Is that a fair? It, yes, that, that's a fair assessment. There's it's, a Hall of Fame for it. There's a Hall but of Fame. And you know, it's it's more of a score attack thing t than, you know, multiplayer. Yeah, so basically uh, you're competing against each other as yourself, you know, and um, and so we're giving our we're giving our best shot at it um, here on stream today. And um, I don't think we're going to make it because I have like, oh, we're going to have thousand fame. And I was looking at the scores earlier today. Mm -hmm. The high score is like 27,000. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> we may not make it to the high the high scores ourselves since our players are a little bit, uh, our a players, little bit better than our us. Our players are amazing at this game. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, 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 I don't mean to, uh, you know, offend you or anything like that, but asking... Asking somebody if a game is dead is uh, is not really like a very useful question, and also you know it's not really something that you can define. 
uh, as long as there are people playing a game and the servers are still up, I would say the answer to that question is always no. Um, so And also, you know, there are games that are decades old that are still being played. Yeah. I mean, just a couple of months ago, I was playing Alpha Centauri. There you go. And that game is, I think it's older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or at least almost as old. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe uh, think about asking that one before you ask it next time. Um, here's a question. If and when the console edition sometimes out, will there be a streaming team B? Um, I'm not exactly sure if I understand your question fully, Alexander. Um, but when the console edition comes out, um, we could we could stream about it. But I mean, we're we're playing and streaming on PC, and I don't see any reason why we would stream on a console. You know, I think I need to crank out um, a lot of infrastructures in a moment, but I want to real quick. Like one scout, but we'll definitely tweet about it um, when we have a date for the new console uh, version of Humankind. So you can follow us on Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook, and uh, and you can find out about that there. Or you can always just uh, follow our um, blogs on games games together, aka amplifiers. Amplifiers, if you've ever heard of that. Um, so yeah. You know, we can claim a wonder. I hope the lighthouse is still available. I yes. I don't know how I'm being misunderstood here, Sad Boy Hours. Humankind is coming to console. It's been delayed, and we just we don't have a we date. Don't we have can't a, tell you yet. We don't have any other thing. information as to when that's happening. I'll paste this video again as a message from our CEO. Of uh, of the latest information that you can have about that. Oh, I think these th these are all of those rivers in Siberia that run from south to north, and it's like really hard to cross here. I'm just having some troubles at the lowest difficulty. I'm not a good difficulty player of humankind. Yeah, n me neither. <laughs> Luckily, this one is only on a normal difficulty. Ah, ah, hey. Is, is that Joseph? It sounds, yeah. Yes. Alpha Centauri does have the problem of having dated gameplay after playing it for so long. I'm not sure. I want a remaster, maybe a real. Well, I think I think a remake. I think a lot of the gameplay is okay. Uh, the unit customization was way too much. It, like you ended up with like 60 units. But I think big part of the problem why the gameplay feels so dated is the interface is god awful. Hmm. The yeah. only game I've ever played that has even worse interface is Dwarf Fortress in the original oh. ASCII edition. <laughs> <laughs> and that one was made by a mathematician. So you can imagine what the interface is like. Yo, I just wanted to say big thanks for making another multiplayer open dev for pre-orders of Endless Dungeon, having a blast with friends. Hey, glad to hear that, Steven. Um, yeah, I think I think the game is super fun with with people. Um, I've enjoyed playing it uh, the past couple of days as well. So hey, I'm I glad think, to hear that you're enjoying I it. I think too. we might have may have found land where we can actually land in Antarctica. Yes, let's go. Now we just need boats that can get over there because our boats are super slow, which is mm. why I uh, actually grabbed the. Oh, lighthouse of Alexandria. Yes, we can actually build it in Alexandria. Nice. It's basically like the Mac situation where it took some time for it to function and release, is my guess. Um, except for not, you know. There, there's different reasons why it's different yeah. this time. <laughs> but yeah, working, game, working with... You know, uh, game dev is kind of a complicated thing. Yeah. Mm. I, would, I would agree with maybe it's similar that it's going to take some time and yes. maybe we... Um, you know, we... We had a pretty good idea that it was going to come out when we said it was going to come out. Obviously, that's why we established that date. But things happened, and you know, and you know, we're just working, working with what we got. So, oh, the the, the burn it. The Joseon are claiming burn it to the ground. Siberia. Stephanie. Now, I think we we can go more towards the south here. It feels weird pointing at the top of the map and saying, "Oh, we'll go to the south here." Yeah, I'm so not used to that. 
<laughs> Dwarf Fortress has a great interface once you memorize the keys and start using the macros and defend your thesis. <laughs> I get the defend your thesis part. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh my... I had such What's a up, I had such a fun Hi. fun thing in in the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress recently. I clicked one wrong button, and it led to my military leader. Instead of just picking up the mace to get, go kill out, uh, go out and kill the giant, I accidentally clicked override civilian clo clothes instead of additional to civilian clothes for the uniform. So she picked up the mace and then ripped off her clothes and ran out to beat the giant. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs clothes? It, it was like a real... Mm, uh, yeah. One wrong button. <laughs> yes. Uh, actually, the reason I needed to equip her with a mace to go kill the giant was the giant has showed up Wielding a slab with the secrets of necromancy as a weapon, and otherwise she was naked. Then my dwarf saw her, ran towards her to to attack her. She tried to run off scared, and my dwarf knocked her unconscious. And then, you know that Simpsons scene where it's like, Stop, stop, she's already dead! It was like that. All of my dwarves around her, kicking her and kicking her, but they couldn't kill her. Mm. And so the dwarf started passing out from exhaustion. And started to get thirsty and everything, and was like, Oh no. I don't do anything. All of my dwarves are gonna die out there from thirst because they can't <laughs> kick this giant as to them. Mm -hmm. Which is, this is real Dwarf Fortress gameplay moment. Mm -hmm. It's this kind of weird crap. And so I was like, oh yeah, wonderful. Mm. Losing the entire fort to that. Uh, how do we best claim the, I, I think I am exploring a little more before I claim this. But yeah, luckily this is not the kind of UI and, and simulation weirdness we have to deal with in humankind. <laughs> yeah. Let me catch up with chat here a little bit. Um, Alexander, uh, I think what you're trying to say is that the the console gameplay will be different than the PC gameplay. But the gameplay should be the same, but the UI is... Yeah, so it's, it's obviously going to play different, but it'll still be the same game, so... I personally, maybe you think that it's uh, that would be a good idea. I personally don't see a reason why we would the, do that. The only, so I'm, the only my thing, answer now is the one thing I'm not sure about is probably whether or not console. together we rule will be out on consoles when it releases on consoles, or if that comes later. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I I don't remember, so I can't say. I believe they wanted to have the expansion available on release, but. Uh, at this point, hard to say. <laughs> um, I'm having a good day, Thenarius. How about you, Stephanie? Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day, especially since I have tomorrow off. <laughs> hey, there you go. I'm taking Monday <laughs> off. Next Monday. Uh, is that also like compensation for for the overtime last week, or or is that no. actual day off? No, it's it's my RTT. Um, ah, okay. But no. oh no, wait. I took some time have, off on I Monday. I have that on Monday as well. My RTT. Yeah. Tomorrow is, is the time from Amplified. And mm. then on Monday, I have the... Four days. Oh, nice. I didn't even realize that there until now. There you go. What are you going to do uh -huh. with all that time? Well, tomorrow I have doctor's appointments. Oh, okay. Which is what I have tomorrow. <laughs> so, so that's not, not the fun part. Um, Let's see. Here. Uh, actually, let me check the RSS. I think now we can finally... Yep. Oh, my God. I, we completely ignored all of the military stars because we didn't start <laughs> crap with the... the See, this is this is why I'm bad at the game. I should have started crap with the Dutch. But also, this is a nice new improvement that you know we now have like the name and the art here. Mm, yeah. So of That's course, cute. you know, since this scenario starts in the fourth era, we don't have the top film. Right. But you can see it. And um, so, who do, should we actually pick now? Mm. Let's see who's actually gonna be good for this shared projects. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm being a, I'm being a good boy and and using the branding in areas. I mean, is this not branding? Yeah, and you're you're good too. But specifically, the amplifiers was mentioned. Mm -hmm. Did we spot Saul Peter in the Siberian steppes? Uh, yes, I I actually just built the extractor. Nice. I greatly um, appreciate that the Antarctic challenge was on Blitz. It really helped me enjoy it. I'll get through it. Oh, damn. in a night. I, I do feel like Blitz Speed, Blitz speed is, is nice for, for certain for things. Should, should we do French? Because one of the, the end conditions is uh, Science Victory, so this could help. Sure. But at the same time, like, there's nothing that... That would help us research 
all the rest of the things. This is like so dangerous on this one because pollution is turned on, so no. Mm. Mm. Amazing branding. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I mean. uh, and yeah, I'm going to abandon you next Monday. When are you taking your RTT, Sergio? Well, what we could do um, Siamese to help with our, our money and get the industry on all quarters. The Zulu War not a good option, absolutely, because we're not, you know, starting starting war. So I, I think maybe we go French so we can research into the contemporary already. Ah, oh, right, yes, because the the transport ships that don't sink are Era 6. French it is. Do we need... <laughs> <laughs> to add with that threat. Do we need the... Uh... Do we need the strategics to build the boat? No, no, the, 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 the transport ships don't need strategics, but, um, wait, I, I'm force of habit, I'm still looking for the science button down here. Yeah, I got you. Um, but like the, the next, uh, wait, is it tank as naval? Oh no, we don't have a filter for naval. Mm -hmm. Does it show up if we look for transport? Well, I should get it. Not sure when. A lot of things going on in the Endless Dungeon. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you only have, like, five more days okay, left no. to take it. L looking for transport doesn't work because it looks and for the name. Two of those are weekend days, so. But the thing yeah, is, the grin, you know, the, um, uh, Where is it? Was it in the medieval? No, in the early modern is where we have a right here. This one mm -hmm. has high seats, so it... Doesn't sink immediately, but it still takes damage. So what I'd really like, now that we're the French, rush towards amphibious warfare, because these guys don't take damage on the oceans. But, you know, it's a little bit off. Just, Our science is also pretty weak, Sauce, for how much expensive these are. Yes, but if it's that, nine that's, turns that, on blitz, that's because we haven't really uh, invested in science yet. Right, that's what. But that's what I'm saying. It'll take us some time to ramp up our science engine as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go switch towards that now. And this, I'm not even gonna research that yet because I know in this scenario, spe specifically for this scenario, coal is like only in Antarctica, which doesn't really, you know, realistically make right. sense because there's lots of coal in like Germany and the UK and mm -hmm. a lot of parts of the US, I think. I wouldn't know exactly where in the U.S., but there's definitely, you know, lots of coal in, in Germany. Ah, yes, this is one we'll do. No, wait, do we have? Okay, yes, we do have two torpedoes, so we will be able to build that one. And also, our science will get better as I turn all of this stuff into actual cities. Oh, three points short. <laughs> three <laughs> points! Why? Uh, wait, where? Ah, uh, these guys. Uh, I guess let's go go back and fill in that hole. And you. So, um, outposts get food and industry, but yes. they don't get science. No, they don't get science. Okay. Got it. Go 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 it. Mm. Ah, where to place it here? <laughs> I guess somewhere that time over when here the Ottomans might be a... conquered pretty much all of Africa. <laughs> hmm. I mean, they probably had ambitions to do that. Conquer everything at that point, you know. Because you know, technically, we could have also transcended the Ottomans because they did still exist in the industrial era. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't exactly have a stellar <laughs> reputation for how powerful they were, but, we'll also but you know, they existed. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Ponage, um, I don't know. I, I think, I think it might have been my evil twin brother that was streaming last week. I don't know. No, 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 I, no, no, I, no, no. Black see. bag over my head, got tied up, I've been in a No, no, I coma. think, I think everybody in our community agrees. You're the evil twin brother. The I'm good, the, the evil twin? The good brother, unlike what is usually the case, in your case, the guy with the mustache is the good guy. He's the good guy, okay. Because normally, you know, it's the, the mustache dwelling evil, but in your case, right, it's the reverse. Right, 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 right. But, so, Chad, would you say, like, this would be about where Mecca is? Hmm. If this is Arabia? Or is it further south? I'm not super sure. 
that's a good question. I don't know if it's that far south. Uh, it could also be like here. Planning. But like, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, because we have now a Dome of the Merciful, you know, the first holy site as Islam, we should place that, you know, where Mecca would be. I like it. Sounds like there says Jeddah. It's super west. Uh, well, that's the thing. This is west on the, on the, on the Arabian Peninsula on this map. Middle NS, but to the west. It, NS? What? I don't know what NS means. Middle, north, south. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> now that he's like, okay, okay, yeah, in that case, yeah, then, then it would be here, I guess. Because this is probably too far south to be Mecca. You gotta, you just gotta, like, turn your head, y'all. Yeah, this, if you, this, if you turn your head while you're watching this, this map stream, is confusing. Work. Look at Africa. Somebody, like, you know, oh, you know, I know it wasn't, wasn't uh, that designer, but if it was a certain designer, I would say, oh, the cat has not gone with the globe. <laughs> you probably know which designer I'm talking about. <laughs> In between those U-shaped mountains, yes. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't claim territory. I need to say... The French conquer Africa? No! One point now! <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know any history about fr the French conquering all of Africa. Almost all of Africa. Uh, the, the French definitely had colonies in Africa. Mm. Played the entire scenario and did not realize it was based on the real Earth. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I told you, the map is confusing. <laughs> it's just turned a different direction. Uh, no. I mean, it's it's more than just turned yes, a different exactly. direction. Yes, <laughs> exactly. It, it is turned a different direction, but also it's a different type of projection. Like the entire math of how it gets spread is different. It's like, um, it doesn't ma I map it, like the other it, maps it's, do. it's a type of cylindrical projection. Mm -hmm. And so the meridians are, you know, equidistant anyway, because you unwrap if you do it like normally according to the axis mm -hmm. and then the uh, what's it called in English? Latitudes mm -hmm. are mathematically mapped so they're all equally distant as well in the in the height. But what we did is like we took the normal cylinder that usually you wrap along the equator, and then we took the globe in there and <laughs> turned it so that the poles point into the sides of the cylinder, and that's why you get this weird warping, because the stuff that normally would be, you know, on a straight line suddenly goes like downward instead of horizontally and stuff like that, and it's right. looking really weird and. Um, oh wait, we didn't claim that one yet either. So let's walk up there because that's a better territory. Um, yeah, let's just surround the the chosen over here with territories, I guess. Oh, so we actually want to make an army. You know, I just realized. I think I built like one, if if even that, of our emblematic districts beforehand. But these, I think, we definitely want to build. And then maybe we want to conquer Amsterdam, but whoever is like on the the Americas, we want to trade with a lot because this gives us more science from trade routes. Mm. But for now, I think it is more. Oh wait, wait! I'm actually in that city. Yeah, here I will need to catch up on uh, a couple of infrastructures, maybe. <laughs> Sounds good. You know, let Let's just crank out all of these one turners. Just a quick reminder: the discount code for the displate store and the merch um is lasting until the 29th i think so 29th of uh, it lasts, january 20th? it lasts pretty long or maybe all the way to the 31st it might be to the end of the month don't quote me on that um but uh but yeah so if you haven't had a chance to pick up any of the merchandise or the Disblate metal art posters for all the cultures of humankind, feel free to go check out those um, on the links in chat. Where's Bur Barusa and Finland? Um, yes, Barusa is in Finland. <laughs> Yeah. This is th this bit is like the the border between Finland and Russia. <laughs> oh yes, sure. 
I think this is what we need. I like it. And then we, you know, start cranking out some research quarters where we can. Seventeen health, twelve fifteen. Ooh, twelve eighteen. Yes. Let's grab this, and then you know we put some research quarters around the horses here, I guess, to cool. get the the benefit. I'm a fan of that. I like that. Actually, ah, yes, we can probably build some pretty good ones over here somewhere. Whoa! 30! Less than 30 on this tile. We're surrounded by market quarters, right? Yeah, but like the, the adjacency bonus is for research quarters, so I'm not sure why it gives us so much bonus. Ah, because there were two trade place research quarters, that's why. Hmm. But then I would put it here and not there because th that gets, gives us more influence, but we lose 60 money, so yeah. we'll probably put it here. We need that money. And there is money, no... Money, money. Yeah, there's no other money. place. So. But yeah, let's let's crank through that. And, uh, I guess I guess the dome isn't super urgent. I mean, we're at 72% stability. Yeah, exactly. I, I was still operating in... Oh no, our stability is bad mode. Uh huh, wait. Huh, I think this is the tip of South America. Oh, good. And we might meet yeah. the Spanish. Sergio, we might meet the Spanish. And also, yes, I think we meant to demonstrate. You can see, this patch, it's not grayed out anymore, even though we're not yeah, yeah. in our territory. It's just, you know, Where does very it give nice. the population to? Uh, it's just lost. Oh. So you only get the population back if they're if, in. if they're in a city. But it, this is more mostly a use case for like, oh if no, my unit money. unit got stuck somewhere and I can't get rid of it, and now I'm paying for it even though I can't use it anymore. Mm. I see. I see. I see. Mm. Yeah, I think this is pretty nice. Ooh, in one turn. Research. All right, this this is actually next to. Hmm. But how much would we get? Ah, yes. I do want this one there, and then probably put the other one over here somewhere because there's also the signs to take advantage there. Hmm. And ah, oh, it's not making suggestions over here because it thinks that spot is better. <laughs> right. Um. I need to finally click the stand button because I've been forgetting about it so many times now. Ooh. So we only actually have three out of five cities. Yeah, that's that's why I'm saying, oh, I absolutely need to finally remember to click that button because I've been forgetting about it all this time. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we don't have enough influence. Uh, I guess we can build it quick enough with, with industry. The coffee. And you guys. Oh, right. No influence to attach that. Um, Gotta make some of that brown juice. Mm. 21, 15. Oh, let's think, grab the 21. Oh. I was gonna say, I don't think it's worth it to get rid of the food since we're already a little hungry in that city. Alright, for the food, the solution is actually this. <laughs> we should build <laughs> some harbors. You could also mm. use the new disband to get rid of a lone scout that got trapped in enemy lands. After a war declaration and not give them war support. Yeah, that's kind of the idea to just, you know, oh no, this unit is a liability. I need to get rid of it. Thank you very much for the follow, Kelris. And officially welcome into the Amplitude Studios community. What'd you have for breakfast? Kuma. Kuma, yeah. <clears throat> I could sail north to the left to meet the Spanish but I think I care more about I thought we wanted to get the trade started though yes but I, I think it's better if I just build another boat and send it across here because it's you know we need to uncover Antarctica and it would take a long time to get back because I mean I, I have no idea how far you'll this, have to go to meet them this you know this you know what what South America looks like I do and so this territory could be like oh the city is South like America. over here could be yeah so I'm, I'd rather like go over here and just 
crank out a quick boat. Uh, come on a little bit. Uh, Tarek, yes. I love cra just cranking out a quick boat. Hey, hey, you know, we don't have steam engines yet. The boat is probably hand cranked. I mean, you maybe. You have this dude in there. <laughs> Sounded like a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where your mind goes, I do not follow. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's a reason why they call it Terra Incognita. Oh, the Spanish are already there. With a settler? They dig it for that oil. How the hell did they get their settler? I, I think actually we need to start trouble with the Spanish if they have a settler here. A plus one city cap? Do we want to? Do we want plus one city cap? We already. We're under, but. Are we under by. But we, we will try to get up there. And I think it's better than the 15 fame. I mean, 15 fame doesn't seem as useful, yeah. Was that a, was a custom event as well? No, that's that's one of the normal ones. That's actually <laughs> one where, pe where a lot of players are like, there, is more there, are no, there are no circumstances in which 15 fame is, is better than, than plus one city cap. Yeah, that makes sense. Speak quickly. If I had... To sail on a boat before steam engines, I'd be quite cranky too. Well, the Spanish are going for the win. We gotta, we gotta chop them down. Oh, they have demands? Uh, no. Please, we just want to trade. Ah, after we refused, they immediately like, oh yes, let's trade. I mean, that's fine by me. Ooh, they don't want to trade everything. They just want to trade luxuries. Oh wow, they've they've actually expanded quite a bit over here. It seems. I, is is it just me, or does it feel weird that you? Oh no, this strategics is all, this are an is upgraded trade contract to a luxury trade contract. Couldn't it just be two tier ones? No, I, I think like the idea split. The I, I think the idea is more that you know luxuries you're willing to trade because you know it's just a luxury. Strate just a luxury. Strategics, on the other hand, is hey, they can build army with that that they could use to beat us. I, th I still feel like maybe it would make it could, more sense could to be. me as like two single tiered choices. Yeah, but you know, then a lot, like of, a, a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of luxuries. A lot of stuff would need to be set up in a very different way here for that to work. So it's kind of like how it fits into the larger diplomacy system, mm -hmm. as opposed to you know, the diplomacy system being designed around the resources. Right. I get that it doesn't make sense 14. for our current system. I I'm just yeah no of course, I'm just musing of course here of course in a different game, it might work differently. Uh, so do we just grab the maximum industry or do we? No wait actually I. Uh, Twenty three. It's still the same max. Uh, still the same total, right? Yeah, but we're gonna attach wrong? it here probably or to a city over there. So I I'm thinking actually I will grab this one, here. Yeah, no, 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 S Spanish. You are not sending that settler there. They retreated. Which was a mistake, because, you know, we could still follow them. <laughs> oh, wait. Ah, okay. And, and, uh, hmm, <laughs> how did we get that back home? Uh... I, th um, I think this is the better one for us right yeah, now. Yeah, we don't need... I mean, technically we lost some health, but... Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, no no Spain, no no Antarctica for you, Spain. Oh. Arachnador can't imagine trading strategic resources, but not can trading trading luxuries. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's the thing for most players. It's like, oh, luxuries is fine, but strategics. No, I don't want to give you my oil because you could be building tanks. I mean, it depends on what type of partner they are, I guess. But our player, you you've seen our players. You know what what kind of trade they do. No worries. Take care, Thanarius. Thanks for coming. You know, the the type of of trade that our players are interested in is the type where they benefit and the enemy doesn't. Which, fair enough. Doesn't sound like trading at that point. It sounds just like exploiting. It's right in the name of the genre. <laughs> Exploit also applies to your other players. <laughs> oh, that stability is pretty low. Yeah, we can fix that. 
Uh, I think we still have some... Oh no, we actually already built that here. So I guess we will need to... Or was one of these? No, that none of these is the stability on... One of these two? Nope. Well, in that case, I guess we just crank out like the common squatter or a, a garrison somewhere. I, I guess technically we should build a garrison on the border to the Dutch. Are they still the Dutch or did they advance? No, they're still the Dutch. What's the up, Spanish Ode? The, the Spanish. We call it exploitation. We call it opportunistic trading. <laughs> You're pirates. We prefer the term high-risk traders. <laughs> 31. Oh, yes, please. It's a big old forest right there. I'm going to chop down all the trees. I uh, know, because we get a crazy industry from them, thanks to our, our tenants. For the amplifier's idea tab, do you still peek there? Um, before an idea hits 1 million points, there are some great quality actually, of life in there. Actually, yes, we talked about that on stream, didn't we? We, I talked, yeah, I think we talked about it uh, on, during amplifiers, actually. Um, and I think Benoit mentioned that we are going to be implementing some of the ideas that haven't reached a million yet. As far as, I went in there recently, actually, and I don't think I've seen any that have, like, a dev response. So maybe we need to do a better job we, of we letting need, people know that we, we've we, we seen need, them. We need to go in, in there, but uh, right now we're also fixing a problem where uh, it's using the wrong categories. It's using the ES2 categories, which it's not supposed to, so we, we're going to fix that, and then, you know, we might go in and, and start responding. Because not having the right categories, obviously, is, is bad for people trying to push <laughs> their ideas. Yeah. Because it makes it confusing. Of course, yeah. There's some great quality of life in there, which seemed like they would not take too much dev time, although I have zero clue how much dev time something takes. Yeah. I mean, even us, we have, like, a better idea of how much dev time something but would But even there, it's sometimes like, hey, this sounds easy, and the programmers are like... Well, you'd think it would be easy, but yeah, it's like, apparently there's this special thing that yeah, makes exactly. it where it's really like, hard. You think, well, this should, this should be easy, and then you tell a programmer and you watch them go pale. <laughs> and it's like, oh, so I guess it's not easy then. Yeah, so, I mean, fair enough. Appreciate the honesty. Um, but yeah, I've, I've checked a little bit about the ideas. I'm almost, I was I mean, almost afraid to also, comment on them because I was Some wasn't... of them is also like stuff that we look at and it's like, yes, this has been on our backlog. It's great to see that the players care about this as well. But there's a reason why it's in the backlog and not done yet. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Right, right. Um, districts. Oh, wait. Can we... What's our science at? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Ooh, also nice. How much industry do we lose if we put it there? 17. Uh, I guess when the other option is 21, 17 is fine to lose. Or is there something somewhere better to put it here? Uh, no, not really. Why is it? How about 11? 11 doesn't feel good when you're losing 17. So I guess we're waiting on that one. Forests are too easy to exploit. Oh yes, please, science. With five research quarters dedicated to science, one wonders what we uh, yeah, get. sure. Food or pen and paper. <laughs> oh wait, no, I want the event. Oh, overproductive as well. Nice. Heck yeah, ponage. You can always expect honesty from us. <laughs> oh, I just realized Paris. Paris. <laughs> In the damn Congo. Classic. Need it now. We just need to build Versailles. <laughs> um, let's see. I guess I will try to grab this area. Let's just slap this here and, and move it later. Uh, soon we will have circumnavigated Antarctica, and we still haven't set foot on it. <laughs> I swear we will manage to do that in the next 20 minutes. Oh wait, actually, I, I guess now that we've met, made contact with these guys as well. We we know where the Ming are, we haven't made contact, but I think I'll just set this one to auto-explore. Uh, you... Hmm, you know what? Actually, you finished that wonder. Ah, yes. 
Let's just speedrun amphibious warfare <laughs> while our cities start ah, preparing to get more signs. Very clever. They show their sophistication with tears, and their displeasure is ah, not nice. We met them. Trade. Because we want to trade as much as possible because that'll buff our um, stability. No, our um, exhibition halls. I th think most of the trade goes to our main city here. Ah, it's not done yet. Let's get that first. Oh, and you can upgrade to knight. <laughs> Win the industrial area and we upgrade the unit to knights. Oh my god. <laughs> Speaking of honesty, when. When do we hear more news about the big new patch that was hinted on about resources and naval warfare? Ignore this if you're not allowed to comment on it. Um, I mean, we don't we, have like we, a... We're gonna tell you more about it when it's ready to be talked about. Yeah, we don't have like a... a... We don't have a like fixed timetable for it yet. Yeah, I, well, I, what I was gonna say, we don't have like a strategy of, you know, discussing things that are still very, you know, in the works. Yeah. Um, so... By the time that we can tell you about it, it'll probably be a fairly like formed thing, and it'll be there's there's still discussions going on on what exactly to do. Yeah, like it's basically the decision has been has been made. What are the important parts to address, mm -hmm. but not on how to address them. Yeah, which is you know a very big question. <laughs> yeah, but I mean that being said, I think that if somebody like you, Ponage, wants to make a forum thread and say like, hey, here's my thoughts about what I think should happen for the naval update. Um, then, I mean, starting a community con discussion about that would probably be a pretty good idea and maybe even, you know, help the process along of figuring out what's going to be the best for the community. It's like, oh yeah, this is the best place for this. I'm not sure I agree. <laughs> oh, I also meant to see... Oh, wait. Uh, here. Oh, wait. Okay, this place actually is pretty much strictly better. We lose one industry, but otherwise... Yeah, so let's move that up there. And you... What can you do? Ah, uh, so close. Wait, actually... We need two here and three there. Does it round down if it's an uneven number? Coffee beans. And Coffee where is it? Beans. Oh. Oh no, actually it, it gave us this one from from uh, osmosis, so we can't cancel that. I think we need to improve our our influence in our core territories. It seems like that our way. capital is Dutch. <laughs> with everything else is French. Yeah, I mean, because of but, lack but, of competition. But it's, it's it's starting to convert over here. So maybe yeah. we're starting to get pressure from the outsides now. What is the plot of this game? Boo? That's a great question. I think the plot currently is how fast can we sail to Antarctica and steal all the resources? And simultaneously get stuff from trading with people while screwing them over, subtly. <laughs> Our capital is Dutch. Everything else is French. Are you <laughs> Belgium? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess it kind of does fit, yeah. Hey, what's up, Sapphire? <coughs> How do I subscribe to the Amplitude newsletter? Oh, oh God, Ragnarok, yes, that, that is a good point. Let's hope we're not Belgium. <laughs> They, they, um, they didn't treat the Congo terribly well. The newsletter, I suppose you would sign up for that on... On amplifiers. Yeah. But what part of the website do you sign up for? Uh, it's in your account profile, I think. Yeah, if you're not already... I know, I know what you're thinking. This will redirect you still, though. I haven't made a new amplifiers uh, command. But... Um, But yeah, Sapphire, that should let us know if you can find it based off of that information. Look at it. Look at this beautiful entirety of the UK. <laughs> nice. Like this is Ireland. Ireland. This one tile. <laughs> oh, but they have salt. We're we're bastard, and we only believe in ownership when we own stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. I mean, we're we're trading a lot of stuff. 
Snowstorm, thank you very much for the follow and officially welcome into the community. I know you here. Um, just slept it's on not something. that cold and desolate. <laughs> I met a, a nice why, 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 Scottish man. Why are you saying, you know, cold and desolate? Just because <laughs> this is like a rocky field that's snowy? I, I guess it kind of doesn't wouldn't it be the one that's more north? Th no, I think these two would be Scotland. Oh, okay. And like, this is like the, the border. Got it. Mm, I talked oh, to a right. nice, a nice Scottish Scottish man while playing video games the other day. Hmm. Sounded just like Billy Boyd. Y you know, if we had actually remembered to build our districts as the Ottomans, I would say this one would be good. Hmm. Because it's on religious districts, but we didn't remember to actually build all of our religious districts as the Ottomans. I don't think I built any. I think there might have been one, but yeah. That's the best depiction of the ah, UK wait. I've seen, wait. I've ever seen. Does, it has no does, people does, in it. does the um, it is appropriately salty though? Does this count as a common? Wait, salt? there's salt. It counts as a research. Board. There's a res there's salt resource in there. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, our current, UK is pretty salty. Our current quarter counts as a research quarter. So does any of this actually interact with the research quarters? Because this one's on comments, that's not helping us. Oh, I guess this would help us with the money because we're doing a lot of trading. I do like money. Money is nice. Still religious districts too, though. Yeah, but the, the trade routes at least trigger us first because we didn't build anywhere near enough religious districts. Yeah. I really should have prioritized those emblematic orders. I think we were just we were just jamming. That no, the thing is that the at the time the emblematic waters were not offering anything we originally needed, and then mm. we were all out of stores to earn, and so it's like oh, we need to move on now. We could have started just fighting people, I suppose. But I don't think the Dutch even had enough units for us to get the stars we needed. Maybe just pick them off one by one. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna slap this down wherever we can to. Lay claim to all of Africa. All of Africa will be ours. You know what? You, Nan. I'm gonna see... Uh, no. We don't have the influence because we're still on cooldown. Maybe if we're the Josian we are? Yes. Maybe? Take They're like... <laughs> keep your secrets, then. Uh, no, wait. Uh, this is the Spanish. You have my ear. Tell me what you uh, well, let's, No, wait. They they were heading for Antarctica, so no. Oh. I, oh, I didn't think they would. Because it would be nice to get more vision of the map so we can show off how, how weird it looks. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, more horses up here. Nice. Hmm. Mm. Uh, this is kind of appropriate <laughs> that we just found the South Pole. So I'm pretty sure we. Oh, oh, mm. well, that's actually going to help us with the stability and going to spread our faith, because we're going to be cranking out research quarters. One percent science on holy site. How strong is that? People can argue about. Well, I guess that depends on your tenets. Well, it also depends on how much total science we have. If it's one percent of our total science. I'm not sure if it's of the total science or just in the city. Oh. Well, I don't know. Uh, we, we could claim a wonder. Let's see if there's anything useful we could claim. Eiffel Tower! Put it in Paris! Maybe. But I'm also thinking, you there's know... There's two wonders in Paris. Uh, in, in our game. <laughs> that seems... <laughs> seems pretty. Plus 10 influence per territory under the religious... Uh, under your influence. And I think our religion is doing way better than our influence. So maybe the uh, Santa Maria... Differenza, or what it's called, um, would be w worthwhile. You know, the, the Del Delfiora. But also, is there anything that helps us with the research? Science per district. Is that strong enough? I mean, it's a flat bonus on districts. But we don't have that many districts, do we? Well, oh, actually, yeah, this is 20 districts, so that would be 40 science, so I guess so. I mean, at a certain point, we just need more science, and if there's nothing else that gives us science, it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, but but also, you know, this would very much help with our 
everything starts problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, also but let's, having let's, extra influence let's do would this, help us out let's too. Let's do the science first, I guess, and then if we are quick enough, then we can. Well, wouldn't it make more sense to get the one that gives we're us not more influence to get we're the not, next wonder faster? I don't think we would get that much influence from it. We got, we're getting 240. The reason we didn't get to claim wonders was because I was slapping down outposts like crazy. Mm hmm. I was spending too much of it instead of claiming wonders. Is there a historical forex with north-south circumnavigability? I don't think so. Uh, well, technically, this map does have it because, you know, this is south and somewhere in here is north. Like, I think this is... This is Greenland, I think? And this is... um, What's it called? Newfoundland? Versailles is in Versailles, not Paris. That's its raison d'être. Well, fair enough. I think it's pretty close to Paris, though. <laughs> How do you do? If my Paris Metro card gets me there, then I think I think it's pretty close. Well, if you look at the map of the Metro, it is in one of the zones that's not technically Paris City anymore. I mean, I've made it there. The, the things, if you need to take the RIA. It's probably not actually in Paris anymore. <laughs> well, Paris, yeah, Paris Central, of course. But because you know, it's it's like I, New York, I tell it, people that I live in Paris, even like, though yeah, my it, city but has it's a different like, you know, name. It's like New York. You have in New York, you have you know, New York City. You have the New York metropolitan area, and then you have New York State, and it's kind of like this here. Like you have Paris, the Paris metropolitan area, where like Versailles and everything is in there, and then you have Ile de France as the state, which is technically basically Paris. <laughs> At least for as far as, you know, the population distribution is concerned, because I think I checked it once and it's like, you know, was it like 15% of all French people live in Paris or something like that? Or, or rather in the greater Paris area. Oh yeah, there's Notre Dame as well. Yeah, good point. So that's some favoritism right there. 21 with the wonder. If you can circumnavigate both east and west and north and south, then the world is a donut. Well, the thing is, you can no longer circumnavigate north east south. to west. Well, east to west. Because which is north to south. Depending on where you are, like here, it's. Hmm. Should we grab this one last territory as well? Just to be, you know. Completionist? <laughs> because then we're like out of territory to claim over there. Right. I mean. What do we want? It's helpful, oh, that, right? Pleasant. Ah, yes. I, I guess. Sh should we, you know, be like, oh, yeah, you can be, you know. Can be our little neighbor, <laughs> <laughs> but now let's see. Uh, we, no treaties. All right, we're on cooldown here. We welcome this opportunity. We're on cooldown here, and you look different. Haircut. Cooldown. How do you cooldown. do? Okay. Or or were we in crisis there? No. Because I think it's time we start signing some non-aggression pacts with them, so they stop bothering us. <laughs> he has so many icebergs. There's very few places to land on Antarctica. Yep. By the way, where's Iraq in this map? Um, let me see. That that would be. You gotta turn your head. Wait, I think yeah, I'm, but I'm trying to remember my normal map. What's kind like of... this. Wait, let me see if this is Turkey. And this is Syria. So, yeah, Iraq and Iran are somewhere around here. I think. It's not a perfect representation. <laughs> it's very hard. There's not enough room for everything in there, I yes. think. Yeah, that's it's a I'm, bit skinnier that, that's than That's what, what I'm saying. Like, it's somewhere around here. Both of them, I can't tell where, you know, the precise borders would be. Oh, yeah, it still wants to put it here. Afghanistan, which would be above closer Afghanistan is probably somewhere where we put our outpost <laughs> something like that I'm not exactly sure it's pretty squished how much somehow it? somehow it feels like Saudi Arabia is maybe a bit bigger than it should be if that's how big Iran Iraq and Afghanistan are but I mean that's that's what I'm saying like the, the projection is all weird mm -hmm. yeah let's get the 33 signs there 
keeps just I'm, I'm just gonna just leave it here now. It keeps bothering there, me about that spot, so. Is there any reason why we're not attaching all the outposts? Is it would just, just tank our stability? Uh, there's that, and also so we have some. Hmm. Does anybody know where Holly Carrasos is? <laughs> I know it's like you know somewhere around here. But I don't know if it's in Greece proper or if it's in Turkey. Because if it's, it's in, in Turkey, we could just actually build it in Turkey. Uh, yeah, you. Oh no, wait, that's actually the next dome already. Uh, where should we build that? Just no, north of Sam. Ah, uh, yeah, I have no idea where that would be. <laughs> wait, actually, I wanted to. You know, grab the remaining resources here. And you... Do we have some good research quarters over here? Oh, yes, 24. Yes, I'll take that. 21 over here? Oh, yes, please. Arachnidork says it's in modern-day Turkey. Yeah, and... and Uncle, Uncle Sam? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but okay then and, and I guess it's probably somewhere on the west or south coast of Turkey because that's you know where what the Greeks had a bunch of cities so I, I'm just gonna put it over here ah Damascus hmm so then it would be somewhere around here I guess but I, I kind of don't want to lose these tiles because they give us some good food and industry <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it over here because it looks good there Good old Uncle Samuel. Alright, we have two more territories to claim until all of Africa is ours. And you just... Uh, still 19? Yeah, sure. Oh, right, there's, there's silk here. That's nice. <laughs> Come on. How many names can a city have? At least one more. Hey, hey at, at, least, at least they started us in... In Damascus. Imagine if they had started us here with Istanbul. You know what would be going through our heads all damn stream. You're the one that brought it up. <laughs> I yes. thought about it. I thought about it. <laughs> I think I thought about it earlier when you said Amsterdam and I was like... Ah, yes, because even, even old New York was <laughs> once New Amsterdam. <laughs> Um, I think you promised uh, boats, boots on the ground uh, in Antarctica in five, in five minutes. minutes. Yes, I know. We're, we're trying to crank through the research. We're already at trench warfare. We're close. We're close. Just a couple of turns. And these guys, you know, are already down there. So we can sail across. And you... Ah, yeah, you just ride home and, and disband. Hoidl, nice. We need to find the best best route to get these guys from here to there yeah. as quick as possible. Or you'll be taking that. Because then we can at least very briefly show off the, the special rules for Antarctica. Um, just to make things quick, I'm just gonna be like, you know, just, you just build me everything here. So we don't need to worry about that for the rest of the stream. I have some news for our USA audience. ChatGPT has passed the three parts of the United States medical licensing examination. <laughs> Ooh. The final exam that allows you to practice medicine in the United States. So ChatGPT is a doctor, is what is what I'm hearing. I mean, I saw a video yesterday. No, I, I watched it this morning actually while having breakfast of a physics professor in Nottingham being like, hey, let's, let's feed some of the... the physics questions into chat GPT and some of it was like oh yeah this is actually a pretty good answer and some of it was like oh my god it's so fundamentally wrong <laughs> the funny thing is it gave it like a, a GCSE <laughs> doctor chat GPT please <laughs> it, 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 they, they gave it like a GCSE so like high school level question mm -hmm. and it's like the reasoning is perfectly fine but then somehow it got the math wrong interesting which you Should know, be the easy part, I suppose. Which, which, you know, if you ask me, just makes the answer even more believable as coming from a student. <laughs> because it was, like, off by a factor of, of 10. So it, like, put the, the, the um, decimal point in the wrong spot. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, 
That is such a... Yes, that's exactly the mistake a nervous student during a test makes. Uh, yeah. Mistake. Oh, wait. Actually, you know... I have two turns for this one. Do we have somewhere that's... It's not a taboo, taboo to call Inst Istanbul Constantinople. After all, he founded the city. I don't know enough about the history. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs, it passed a business exam at Wharton earlier, which is hilarious. The medical one is a little bit more worrying. <laughs> I guess I guess that just tells you how much um, in these tests is always the same kind of answers. Right, it has to pass the, the practical exam. Okay, we need no, to get no, I'm it, thinking we need to get it controlled. This, this is probably like the, the spot robotic where it's surgery. easier to get to. Surgery equipment. Let's put them already in the water. And we have two turns until the boats are researched. <laughs> They're so confidently incorrect, it's uncannily human. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. Well, you know, there's no hesitation. It just spits out a response. I feel like it comes up with this response is quite quickly as well. I've used it a little bit. I just assume everyone with a business degree is full of, full of it. Oh, I thought you were going to say full of shit. <laughs> that would have been... <laughs> that would have been less PG. I don't like knowing a med student could cheat that easily. I mean... It's I feel like ChatGPT calls into question a lot of the testing practices yeah, exactly. that we have. I, th I think it's less about the cheating and, and it's more showing that the tests are rote. Well, and also it's it's I think it says less about like, you know, the individual's intelligence and more just like, you know, their morality, maybe. Oh, technically, it's the end of the stream, but I think. I think we just got the boats. We can get the what? Four turns, five turns in to get over there. Real quick, uh, steam engine, yes, sure. You know, now that we're getting over there, we will actually find some coal. <laughs> uh, yes, please, share the map. That's that's actually perfect, so we can show off. Uh, yes, here, you can see. This is North America. Then we have, this is like, the Middle America? <laughs> it's like, oh, four I see. times wide? I see that is interesting. And then this is like, let, let's see if we can get the Spanish to to trade us their maps. Please? Oh. Uh, Ming, hey. Uh, yeah. Transport that. Oh, wait, they have demands? We're pressing them. Please? Oh, they want our city. Well, well. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, here you can see. Like, oh, the Haudenosaunee are, are settling in Australia. <laughs> oh, look oh, at that. The Haudenosaunee have become the Italians. What kind of culture does that create? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can see here, like, uh, this is like, this little bit is like all of Korea. It's all and this sorts is, of funky. This is Japan. Wait, hold up. It makes sense if I turn my head like this. And this is like Borneo. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Australia? Ah, right. hey, I it think makes sense. this is uh, New Zealand, I think. So, this is, in fact, not a hashtag maps without New Zealand. So is it like, kind of like an S-curve sort of thing that we got going on here? Because everything sort of twisty twists. Yeah, that's because, you know... But th that's what I'm saying, it's like, it has to S-curve or, or... Yeah, it's 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 getting weird because, you know... It's the, getting weird, you, 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 you... you Took the normal, you know, normally how you can make a map is like, you know, you take a globe, you wrap paper around it in a cylinder, and right. you have like like a light bulb in the middle projected up. It's like one type of of uh, projection, for example. Right, or you can slice and then have the gaps uh, and yes. whatever. But, but like the, the light bulb one is like one that, that you know, that stretches <laughs> the, the top a lot, but it's like very accurate near the, the equator. Right, and right, And it's right, like right. An, an old style of doing it because, you know, you can do it without doing complex math. Right. But and then imagine you do that, but you take the paper cylinder, you twist it sideways, and then suddenly you know everything that would be on on the sides, like you know, if you had Africa pointing into the cylinder, then you would get this giant Africa at the top of the map instead of 
Mm -hmm. Normally, like yeah. you know, the thing that normally happens with Antarctica at the bottom of the map is that it's super wide, and and it's like the whole width, and that's what's happening to everything else on this map because Antarctica is the center. As they say in Australia, "Mamma mia!" <laughs> <laughs> and come on, we have set foot in Antarctica. Ayo, Let's see if we, we can some... actually. I think these should be like human humankind hands in the chat. Uh, it's not that expensive. So let let me just slap this down here. At oh. uh, Korakata. Korakaka. Uh, da, da, da. Karakaka. Uh, Imagine the globe that. getting siphoned into a black hole called Antarctica. If that is what Antarctica is. It's just a. Is it's a white hole, <laughs> not a black hole. Yeah, if oh, we... there's other people here. <laughs> Vienna. <laughs> in... Oh my god. We need to screenshot this and, and send it to Kiri. Because she always does the, the, the Australia uh, joke for her. And now it's mm -hmm. like, oh, now, now they're in Antarctica as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the Australian But no, it's... GG's I think it's... We... Can, can we see it already? No, because we can't unlock it yet. But there's like bonus signs on the strategic resources. Well, will we play this next week because we got time. Probably. So I think we'll move this, and we we do right, need chat. to. We, I do think we need to drive the Austro-Hungarians out here. <laughs> with with apologies to Kiri, but wait. Oh, the, the Ming have become the Austro-Hungarians. They're heaping influence upon influence. Oh no, the the, the influence map is gonna be already <laughs> next next time. It's it's gonna just all become pink. Terra Austria, yeah, seriously. Yeah, the Terra Austria incognita, yes, exactly. All right, chat. Well, thank you See very ya. much for being here. We will catch you next week. Tuesday stream will be in the morning. Um, and uh, we'll have to see what we're going to do for that. Um, we haven't mentioned anything specific. I, I have no idea what your plans for next Kay. week are. All right. No, I don't think you get what I mean then now. Um, but we'll have to see. Uh, I guess I could. I guess I could ask you this question: When is the? Uh, for those of uh, you that are endless dungeon fans, when does the um, open dev end? Actually, we've extended it. Oh, have we announced that? <laughs> yes, Serge has already po posted okay. on the on the Discord and on Steam. I was like, how do I how do I ask you this without asking you this? Um, the open dev. Uh, Final well, I Rodeo. thought you. I thought you knew because I heard that it was gonna happen. No, but, but I like, didn't know when we were announcing that it was gonna happen. Half an hour or so before the stream, sir was like, "Hey, does Jordan know? I need to go tell him." And and, and, and I he read left the email. And, and he left the desk, so I thought he had told you. No, he told me that it was happening. Happening. He didn't tell me when it was gonna be announced. He had already announced it by the time he told you. Well, there you go. I didn't know. <laughs> so yes, no, it's extended to uh, I think it's February sixth. Um, a bit, yeah. Uh, which, Another which, week. Whichever, the first Monday in February, whichever day that is. I mm -hmm. don't remember. It's the so, sixth or seventh. So, yeah. No, so, next week, we'll probably continue to play the Endless Dungeon open dev and uh, and try and unlock some more stuff. See yes. see what kind of boosts I can get to Shroom. See how fast I can run. <laughs> speed running. It's yes. quite fast. <laughs> well, I would honestly think that that's probably a st strategy for speed running cause, just because of the movement speed. But Yeah, possibly. Anyways. Thank you See all you very much. Week. We love you. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And, uh, and we'll catch you all very soon. Have a good one.